Guys, I hate to say this, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the war is over. The cinematic universe war that we're living through is, is completed. DC won. The DCEU has forced Marvel to push back its new movie slate by a few months each. Uh, the internet is ablaze with conspiracy theories and reasons why this could be. I'm just here to report some facts. Before I begin giving you what will surely be riveting news, please think about subscribing to the channel. Adam does movies right here. I put out content almost daily at this point. It's, it's, it's bananas, Gwen Stefani. Let's begin. In all seriousness, no one actually knows why these were pushed back. My guess is because of COVID, is because they want to get those theaters full again. They want to get those numbers up. Black Widow had a bit of a snag, a little bit of situation when they released it on Disney+. Plus. They got in a fight, a little, little lover's quarrel with Scarlett Johansson who wanted her fair cut. So yeah, they're probably trying to uh, alleviate some of that disaster down the road. So what does that mean? Well, it means here are the new dates for the movies. And here's a fun fact. I didn't actually know when any of them were coming out to begin with. So this isn't really a disappointment for me. Movies get released when they get released as far as I'm concerned. And when it comes to these superhero movies, phase 17 or whatever on for Marvel, I really couldn't care less. Uh, I'll watch them, I'll probably enjoy them, and I'll move on with my life. Here are the releases. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness has been pushed to May 6th, 2022. Thor Love and Thunder, now coming out July 8th, 2022. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, November 11th, 2022. The Marvels, February 17, 2023. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, July 28th, 2023. Well, there you have it, the new dates. Nothing salacious for me to offer. I'm sure there's other YouTube channels out there that have 45 minute videos on this and how DC destroyed Marvel because the Batman trailer came out and a day later Marvel's like, oh God, oh my God, this movie's perfection. We need to push everything back two or three months. I think this is probably just Disney wanting to make as much money as they possibly can. That seems to be what they do. Do you think it's over? Do you think Kathleen Kennedy is ruining the Marvel movies now by pushing an agenda and, and stopping the production of these films so she can put more SJW woke stuff in it? That's probably what's really happening. I mean, Indiana Jones also got pushed back another year, so this reeks of Kathleen Kennedy, right? Or maybe, just maybe, Disney wants to, again, leverage these properties better, make as much money as possible. Could you possibly comprehend something so sinister from the House of Mouse. It's wild, it's pretty crazy. Let me know in the comments your take. I'd love to hear from you. Like the video if you had a good time. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll keep you up to date as things progress. Take care. I mean, this reeks of Kathleen Kennedy, possibly ruined Johnson as well. Oh, you're still here. <laughs> if you haven't already, maybe check me out on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. You could join up and say, you know what, Adam? I like what you're doing. I like the cut of your, the cut of your jib, or whatever that phrase is. Here's a dollar a month. Or you can join right here on YouTube. Not even have to leave this site. There's a join button, and you can you can do that. I'd appreciate it.